what's going on now guys um i'm gonna talk to you guys very very quick hope everyone's having a great thursday <laughs> um i just want to say real quick this is a cl classic example of ignoring red flags i don't know if you guys heard about the gregory green case this was a case that happened in michigan uh, I think it happened back in 2017. The man was married. Um, he, he, he was married. He was, he was previously married to a woman, um, back in the nineties and he ended up murdering his first wife, this man. And while he was incarcerated, a preacher reached out to him and helped him get himself together, get him acclimated. You know, uh, they, the preacher even reached out to the judge and told the judge that, uh, you know, you know, it was a misunderstanding that he made some bad decisions in his life and that he had learned from his punishment and that with some counseling and help and mentoring that the preacher would get this man on the right path. So the preacher helped this guy, got him out of prison, took him to his church the preacher, by the way, had a daughter. He introduced his daughter to this man and the, his, the preacher's daughter ended up marrying this man. And you want to know what? This man ended up killing all four of their children. The woman had two children from a previous marriage. She had two children from a previous marriage and she had two kids by him. And he murdered all four of their kids. Now, I, in, in this case here, this is a classic example of women ignoring red flags. If the man killed his first wife, I mean, what you think he'll do to you? You know, and but the, the preacher knew this man's dark past. The preacher knew that he had a bad uh, past. But the preacher was all delusional and, and I guess thinking that God turned this man around. <laughs> God didn't turn this man around. And the, the woman, she knew this man's dark past because I'm sure her father told her about this man's dark past. And it, it would make you think that if you know the man murdered his first wife, why would you get with this man? Let alone have two more kids by him when you already had two children from a previous marriage. This is a classic example of how women, when they, when, when they see a, a man that they desire, when they see a Romeo, when they see a man that they feel is worth their time, all common sense and all knowledge goes out the window. This, this case is a, prime, is a perfect example of that. Because this woman here clearly ignored the red flags. If you know that, that this man was incarcerated, you know, he, he, he took his first wife out. Why the world would you marry this man? But, you know, when women, when women get swooped off their knees by that Romeo, by that man that they find attractive, they just lose all sense, all sense in their heads. And um, I, I truly fought this woman's father because even her father knew this man's past if i was a father and i had a daughter and let's say if it was it was a man that i was let's say i was mentoring someone and i knew uh that they had a a, a dark past or that they've been in prison for some real dark type of things the last thing i'm gonna do is try to hook my daughter up with this man that's why I say I fought the, 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 the father, too, in this case, because the father knew that this man was a nutcase. He knew that he knew he knew all about this man. So he he put his daughter in danger. And. This go this this is why I say. You know, society tries to shame men who are not being chosen by women, but women choose knuckleheads every day. They choose men with dark past every day. It's just that the reason why women ignore the red flags in these men, because they're attracted to them. And one thing I had to understand when a woman is attracted to a man, 
all common sense and wisdom just goes out the window. But see, society likes to shame men, incels, dudes who are not being chosen by women, men that can't get any sex. Society likes to shame men like that. But what about these toxic relationships that these women constantly get in? And this is what makes it so appalling in this case that I'm talking about now. This woman knew this man's past. She knew that he killed his first wife. But you're going to still marry him anyway? You know, that's just that's just a, that's just being stupid, in my opinion. That's just being straight up stupid. And. This is a clear this is a clear example that women. When they choose certain men to procreate with and build families with. They're not choosing the best candidate possible. They're not choosing a man that will lead them in the right direction. They're not. They're not choosing a man that is suited to be a father and suited to be a, a good husband. Stories like this just 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 show you that uh, women, they're they not choosing the best candidate to build a future with. They just choosing a dude that they find attractive. And, and this story right here clearly displays that. You know, if you got, I mean, I, I think this is an old story. Well, it is an old story. This is not a new story. I believe this incident took place back in 2017. I believe it took place in Dearborn Heights, Michigan, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but stories like this just go to show you that uh, women, they ain't choosing. But, they, but see, they, 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 they tell dudes who not being chosen to work on their personality, work on themselves. But. You got a lot of knuckleheads out here. They got all kind of skeletons and demons in their closet and they didn't have to fix nothing about themselves, you know, but in the midst of their dark past in their wicked ways, a lot of these types of men are able to procreate and have whole families that just go to show you how backwards this world really is. Um, I'm, I, you guys can research this story. Um, I believe this, this definitely is an old story. This is definitely not a new story because this story took place back in 2017. Uh, but um, it's been it, 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 it. This is just one of those stories that clearly show you how a woman will clearly ignore red flags. You know, and in this case, I fought them. I fought the woman and I fought her father. Because her father was the one who introduced her to this man. You know, and I understand when you're trying to help somebody, you know, I, be, you know, I believe some people, you know, they make mistakes and they need to get their life together. And, and sometimes, the, you know, the law will give them a second chance. But this man clearly blew his second chance. He was given a second chance at life and did the same thing again. But, um. Let me know what you guys think about this story. Um, you guys can research this story. Um, it's just a sad, sad case. It's a sad tragedy. But uh, this this is a clear this is a, a clear case of how red flags just go ignored. And this is what happens when you choose to ignore the red flags. But you guys leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this, and I'll see you guys in the next presentation. Peace out.